So I kind of have a weird schedule today, so we're just going to get right into this. Uh, right now I'm giving away a Nintendo Switch, a PlayStation 5, an Xbox Series X description, pinned comment to find out how to enter. Because, uh, hey, there's only, there's still a couple days left. All right. Uh, as you see here, we got a rumor about Microsoft making another Bethesda level acquisition this year. Uh, or, it, see, they spent $7.5 billion on Bethesda. Uh, and they're... There, there, there's quite a bit to, to get into here. So last year, Microsoft acquired Bez Bethesda, one of the biggest video game buyouts ever. The Xbox creator purchased Bethesda's parent company, ZeniMax, for a total of $7.5 billion. In doing so, it granted itself exclusive ownership over popular gaming franchises like Fallout and Skyrim. I don't know why they call it Skyrim. It's the Elder Scrolls series. Anyways. And whatever else Bethesda creates in the future, it was the kind of move many Xbox fans hoped Microsoft would make. They technically bought ZeniMax Studios, so they actually own more than Bethesda, but... Uh, from the sounds of recent rumors, Microsoft isn't satisfied with having just Bethesda. Apparently, the corporation is looking to add more big-name video game developers to its roster. Exactly what companies Microsoft could be interested in remains a mystery. And there's nothing in the recent grapevines suggesting developers are looking to sell. Even if there was, they would be like rumors. And yeah. That said, the current rumor does have some credibility. An industry insider, Xbox Ragna, backed it. Ragna claimed Microsoft was about to purchase a very big gaming studio three weeks before Microsoft announced its Bethesda acquisition deal. With this new rumor surfaced from the gaming forum Xbox era, Ragna agreed with the individual sharing it. He claims he doesn't know who the individual is, but he's been hearing the same thing for months and thinks Microsoft will announce the purchase around the end of this year or sometime next year. So, looking at this here. We'll, we'll load up the Twitter thing here. So we got, uh, here, here's here's what we got here. We got, uh, so mega increases in Xbox revenue acquisitions inbound. I think you'll find in the coming months that a number of ac acquisitions are inbound and have been in works for a while. Um, on a scale of one to Bethesda, what size are you hearing? Quote, all I know is that the same gaming media that likes to cry consolidation in the industry will likely have some issues over the next year. Um, going on, it says, according to Insider, uh, Microsoft will be acquiring studios of the same sort of caliber of Bethesda this year. Now that's what it says there. Let's uh, let's let's back up a little here. It gets a little dicey. <laughs> Sorry, one second. Um, so uh, this guy says I don't know who this guy is, but I've been hearing the same thing for months that Microsoft wants to acquire another publisher. Negotiations with Bethesda lasted three years, as I've been pointing out. I believe the announcement will be at the end of 2021 or the beginning of 2022. Also, Brad Sams, a well-known Xbox insider. Uh, Kind of gave like a winking um, emoji sort of reply on Twitter to this as well. Uh, kind of suggesting that he's heard the same thing. Uh, he's not going into more detail than that, which is kind of surprising. Brad Sams usually likes to throw what he knows out there, but maybe his sources on this aren't like a thousand percent concrete. Now you might be wondering, who could they like acquire that's the level of, of uh, Bethesda? I mean, seriously, who could they acquire? Well, there's a lot of news happening today, uh, and part of that news includes this bad boy right here. Uh, Sega is splitting its amusement and video game divisions. Uh, so, yeah, Japanese game giant is making some pretty sweeping changes at the moment, splitting its video game and amusement divisions, essentially taking their video games and pachinko casino machines and separating them off into two separate businesses, and that's effective on the 1st of April. Both of these new businesses will remain under the same ownership arm of Sega Sammy, and the move is intended to accelerate global business development by streamlining Sega Sammy structure and accelerated decision making. It is also noted that the split is intended to transform Sega's business structure to adapt to the external environment. Um, it's possible that, as I said, you know, trigger speculation about Sega's bosses, um, the purchase of the business. Again, there's been rumors circulating around, you know, Microsoft potentially buying Sega, at least the video game arm, for quite some time. And the best way to do it is if it separates it out. Because clearly Microsoft probably wasn't as interested in the pachinko market. Uh, they're interested in making Xbox Game Pass and other things uh, much more viable. And I don't know, you know, would buying Sega be on the level of Bethesda? I think, yeah. If you consider some of the IP Sega controls, Sonic is still somehow relevant. Um, no offense. Sonic just... How they have like a Mario level mascot and now it's kind of like a footnote these days. Then again, the Sonic movie was a thing. So it's one of those things where I think uh, Microsoft sees potential here and potentially buying up Sega. 
Also, when you talk about Bethesda level, you know, Ubisoft is bigger than Bethesda. EA is bigger than Bethesda. So I'm not thinking they're going to go after any either of those companies. Not that those companies would even be for sale. Uh, but I, I think it's interesting to consider that Microsoft might be looking at Sega here as uh, potential, potentially what they could purchase. So I don't know. This is just my, my, I'm just throwing this news out here, kind of a quick video today. Uh, I might, might have a special video for you guys later tonight, and I'm talking like late tonight, like 10, 11 p.m. Um, it's, again, video game related. I told you guys I'd get back to video game videos today, but I, I've just had such a busy schedule um, with college and everything. But hey, I'm here, got it, feeling fit, let's go. Um, let's get into our next video uh, tonight. See you guys later.